Catherine, breakfast is ready. Got you those raisin bagels you like. Marina called. Told her you were still under the weather. Catherine, you okay? I sure wish things could be like before. Catherine? Honey? Studies show that botulism, which you know is a lethal form of food poisoning, can have a curative effect on neurological damage. My assistant is a third-year med student. Right now, she is comatose. <laughs> Marty. Morning, Dr. Rhodes. Morning. In the next few weeks, we hope to pinpoint the bacteria's definitive genetic code. I'll catch up with you in lecture. Marty, you're no good to me, sleepwalking. I have a four-hour shift at the clinic, then I go home, pass out, I promise. Masochist. You'll make a good doctor. lucky boy. Patrick, but he's a creep. I'm getting a divorce tomorrow. Well, I can recommend a good divorce lawyer. Michelle? Michelle, how many times do I have to tell you bedtime? Uh, Marty, your rent check bounced again. Oh, well, I just got paid, so I'll write you another one. Tomorrow, please? I told you it wasn't safe to live in this place. Jordan, I love this place and you know it. I'm just having a hard time finding the right roommate. Yeah, you've had four roommates in the last year. Face it, you're hard to live with. And you were a piece of cake. Marty, this place is a dump. I mean, design-wise, there's way too much going on here. I mean, these bookshelves up to the sky, you have the paperbacks mixed with the hardcovers. There's a one-bedroom open in my building, you know. Oh, sure, Jordan. Then you could keep an eye on me. No, thank you. Wait a minute. Why did I leave a meeting early to come here? Jordan, you're the first person that I thought of. And because you can count can on count me. I count on you. That's right. You know, you're going to need some stuff here. Uh, memo re Marty's place. We'll need window bars front and back, possible security system, and a gun. Something small, a 22 Beretta, maybe. I'll spend the night here tonight, and uh, we'll get somebody in the morning to clean this place up. I'm not hungry, but I know you are. I'll order us a pizza. Uh, maybe pepperoni or something like that. Yeah, pepperoni would be great. All right, Jordan, time out. What? I'm sorry, I'm interrupting this conversation that you're having with yourself, but I'm running my own life now. I'm not going to turn this place into a fortress, and you can please hang up the phone because I'm not going to eat. Well, that's clear. And I guess I'm not spending the night either. Is this the plan I gave you? Marty, new concept. Water. Thanks for coming, Jordan, really. Yeah. Uh... Bye, Jordan. We 
could live together. And kill each other, I'd rather stay friends. Have you thought about a guy? A guy? Yeah, it'd be safer. Besides, the last girl you lived with ducked out on the rent. The girl before that stole your clothes. Diana, if a guy moved in, Jordan would throw a fit. Jordan should deal with his own problems. Jordan doesn't think he has any problems. Marty, quit making your life crazy. Move on. And I'm pretty clean. You know, I'm not a fanatic or anything. I think I could live here. Oh, great. Um, let me just give you the standard rundown on the rules. Oh, you mean like summer camp? Um, something like that. Well, we do our own dishes. There's my food and there's your food. If you're into heavy metal, please wear headphones. And if you bring someone, um, you know, a girl home, just um, be quiet. <laughs> quiet. Phil, you know you're squeaking. Oh, brand new loafers. I guess I gotta break them in, huh? Yeah. I think that should do it. Oh, great. And here is my card if you need any references. Oh, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, great. I mean, you're the first normal person that's seen the apartment. <laughs> great to be normal. Yeah. Okay. I shall see you on Wednesday. Great. Wednesday it is. All right. You must be Alec. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was just going to call you. Oh, you ran into that guy I just passed in the hall, right? You were the last one. Hmm. Verdi? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, hi, Jordan. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Yeah, don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah, I'll get the window fixed. Um, I don't know. Soon. Jared, I really have to go. Not now. Okay, bye. My ex-husband. What happened? Oh, I, uh, I had a break-in. I, I could fix that. I mean, I got some tools in my truck. I'm a carpenter. <laughs> That's better. Thanks. What do you do for fun in this city, anyway? Well, I'm really not the right person to ask. I've lived here for four years, but really all I've done is work. Oh, yeah? What do you do? Oh, I'm a med student. It's been real hectic. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> well, thanks again. I don't know when I would have gotten around to that. Oh, no problem. I had a lot of practice, though. My last roommate, she wasn't real handy around the house, so... So you lived with a woman? Yeah. <laughs> you remind me of her, too. Same taste in music. You know, we got along great. I'm sorry if this was a waste of time, but Phil beat you to it. Yeah. He's a lucky guy. These old houses, you know, they don't build them like they used to. Solid uh, as a rock. Yeah. Bet you can't even hear your neighbors. Not a peep. <laughs> we can walk down together. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, remember, you know, if anything should happen to make this guy change his mind, uh, you let me know, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Trouble? Yeah, just my luck. Flat tire. Well, let me give you a hand. Oh, great. Thanks. Sure. trying to get at Barney's liver. He's not in the mood. Diana, that guy that was going to move in, 
He was murdered outside of his office. Hey, where do you want this? Maybe that's him. You really don't have much luck with roommates, do you? He was, he was standing in my apartment talking to me. You know, we were going to live together. He had a sweet smile. Marty, are you okay? I'll be fine. There's more room for you in the closet now. Great. Okay. You know, I feel a little spooky moving in under these circumstances. Days are getting shorter. Hmm. Who's the old guy? Oh, that's uh, that's Mr. Beeson. He uh, he lives downstairs. Hmm. You know all your neighbors? Um. Well, no. I mean, I'm not here that much. Um, the uh, manager's daughter, Michelle, she comes around a lot. She really doesn't have anyone to play with. Um, she's real sweet though. Do you ever think about putting the bed by the windows? Might make the room look bigger. You can see the stars at night. Um, Alec, I just, uh, well, I mean, maybe I don't have to say it, but I, but I thought I'd, uh, this is just platonic. Yeah, of course. Good. Marty, you're alone. I'm awake. I'm awake. Diana. Hey. Alec, this is my best friend, Diana. Hi, nice to meet you. Well, it's great to meet you, too. I got to work late tonight, Marty, so I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, OK. Thanks again. Two more weeks before you have to get together. Oh, give me a break. Dr. Davis, telephone, please. Dr. Davis, telephone, please. Hey, Jeffrey. Hiya. Boy in five needs stitches. In seven, there's a guy who's got a moth in his ear. Don't ask me how. Hi. I'm... Marty! Teresa! Teresa, it's been years. What, are you a doctor now? Well, I'm not quite a doctor. Sit up here, let me take a look at this. When did you move here? Well, I came on a photo assignment about six months ago and stayed. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. I got whacked by a hockey stick. Well, I'm sorry to say that I think you have a hairline fracture. We'll have to get an x-ray, though. I can't believe you're still playing field hockey. I sort of hear about your mom. It must be hard being alone now, huh? It's always really nice to me. Well, she really liked you, too. She thought you were a good influence. Little did she know. <laughs> I heard you married some hotshot lawyer. Yeah, it turns out he wasn't such a hotshot husband. Michelle, is your mommy ever home? Marty lets me play here all the time. Does Jordan come by a lot? Kind of. He always yells. What a grouch. Yeah. Does Marty have any boyfriends? Do you want to date Marty? Date her? 
No. I live with her. <gasps> What's that? What is that? Oh. Hey, how did you do that? You can buy yourself a candy bar now. Candy bars cost 60 cents. Hey. Alec does magic tricks. Does he really? The place looks great, Alec. Thanks. You gotta make it a home. Microwave food? Now it's a bacteria called botulism. And I grow it in petri dishes, and I gotta keep my eye on it. Bacteria makes you sick, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll be a doctor like you when I grow up. Dr. Michelle, I like that. Oh no, he's been playing this all day, and it's not even in English. This all smells great. What's all this green stuff? Fresh tarragon. Are you having someone over? Yeah, you. No. Pasta, salad, beats cold pizza. Oh, thanks for the offer, but um, Diana and I are pulling an all-nighter. You have to go back already? Marty, when's the last time you sat down and had a meal? This is a meal. It's not a meal, it's popcorn. I'm hungry. Well, you are. Well, well, then go home. Mommy will fix you something to eat. Blade? Yeah, it's a movie. Oh, really? Anything good? No, it's just a horror movie. I like gore, makes me crazy. Sweet dreams. What are you doing, huh? Excuse me? That's not your mailbox. Jordan. Alec, I'm living with Marty now. Oh, you're living with Marty, huh? Yeah. Really? Jordan, there's nothing going on except he's paying half the rent. And he brings you fresh pastries every day. Yes, please, help yourself. What are you reading? She guys references, credit history. Jordan, he paid first, last, and a huge security in cash. You're so stupid sometimes. What? Nothing. I'll check him out. I'll cover all the bases. What's his name again? Alec Danz, D-A-N-Z. Uh, credit check on Alec Danz. I don't believe this. You're jealous. No. I am practical. You have let a complete stranger move in here. I hope you put a lock on your door. Please, Jordan, I can take care of myself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Got him. Oh, oh, thank you. Just put him on the bench there, okay, Alec? Hey, here, let me, let me do that, okay? Oh. Yeah. Wow, thanks. Okay. 
Alec, Michelle stuffed a doll down at disposal. Would you mind? No problem. So, another two weeks and that can come off. Oh, great. You know, you still haven't signed it. I do. <laughs> it's so wild running into you. I've lost touch with almost everyone. Well, you've got my number. Will you call me? Yes. Marty. Excuse me. Are you coming to the lab? Yeah, I'll be right there. Don't worry, though. I've got everything nailed down. I will worry. Two years' work to go down the drain. My bacteria awaits. Oh. <laughs> I'll call you. Okay, have Bye. fun. Dr. Rhodes, you know what? All those bacteria is making me hungry. I'd be lost without Rhodes. I mean, he helped me get into school. He gave me my job. You could always find something else. Uh, he's pretty special. Our research jobs are not easy to come by. In fact, they're impossible. No, nothing's impossible. Have you always been so driven? Yeah. You know, Jordan used to say, um, my wanting to be a doctor was a pipe dream. You know, that one professional in the family was enough. Can you see yourself marrying again? If I had the time. <laughs> what about you? You don't, um, you don't seem to date much. Well, dating's, uh... You know, I'd much rather just be with someone, you know? Together. You know, really together. I almost had that once, but uh, she took the easy way out. She ended things. Sounds like you got hurt. Yeah, I guess. But you move on. Yeah, I gotta be up at the crack of dawn. If I blew this final procedure, all the results would be invalid. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, nothing at all, but Rhodes is real antsy. Listen, thanks for dinner. I gotta do some reading. Sure, no problem. Oh, shh. Oh, sorry. You did that on purpose. Did not. That was on purpose. <laughs> you win, you win, you win! <sighs> you know, it's really nice to have you here. I hope it's working for you, too. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. You better go hit the books. I'll finish up here. Night. Oh my God, I'm dead. My electricity. I need someone I can count on. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, too. I have to let you go. What do you mean I missed the deadline? I never received the forms. No, I need that loan. Do the trick with the ball well, is there anything right, you can one more do? time, then you gotta go home. Fine, I'll talk to your supervisor tomorrow. Rent's due. I need a job. I need to eat. Diane, I'm right broke. There. I lost the best research job I'll ever That's had. Yeah. My life's falling ah. apart, and all you can okay, talk you about go. is eating. I can have anyone, Marty. Let me make some calls. Hey, don't worry about the rent. I'll cover you. Oh, no. I, I can't take No, come this. on. Really. Your name's on the lease. If you get evicted, I'm a homeless person. 
Sure. Thanks. Just just for this month, and, I, and I'll pay you back. It's okay. What a price. I gotta go, guys. Hey, thanks for coming over. Have fun at the wedding. Okay. See ya. Wedding? Oh, yeah, Jordan's sister, I promised months ago. Uh -huh. Sounds like fun. You won't let me pay your rent, but you'll take money from this guy. What next? Well, I'm having his child. Do you want to feel him kick? <laughs> Very funny. Marty, what? you're not hearing me. Kay. This guy has no credit rating. None. And mine stinks. Come on, let's have a good time tonight. Okay. So if you leave your name, your number, and the time you called after the tone, I'll call you back. Thank you. Hey, Jordan, it's Frank. Squash, tomorrow morning, 6.30. Call me if you can't make it. It's all part of the documentation process. Oh, no, it's a family photo. I don't belong in this. It's just a picture. I'll make my parents happy. Very good. Join us. Come to dinner with us next week. Uh, that's impossible. I have exams. I'm sorry. Okay, everybody ready? Fun. <laughs> Trisha looks really beautiful. Yeah. Not as beautiful as you at our wedding. Oh. That sounds like a cliche, but you really glowed. <laughs> you remember how your pants split? Oh, God. <laughs> I knew that was a bad omen. We drove each other crazy. I'm glad we can be friends now. You know, I still love you. I know. Feel pretty good already? Mm -hmm. Can I help you with that? Um, so what do you feel like doing? Mm. 
It's just a cat. Well, that feels a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> so I was getting really nostalgic the other night, and I pulled out our yearbook. And look what fell out. <laughs> Remember when I gave you this? Oh, my God. I cried when you graduated. You were like your big sister, huh? Yeah, well, the tables are turned. You're taking care of me now. How about a girl's night out? Oh, not tonight. I didn't get much sleep last night. Do you ever uh, spend time around a guy and you don't realize he's cute until one day it just hits you? No. I usually can spot the cute ones a mile away. <laughs> Sign here, Mr. Hiller. Phone number two, please. I can't pay, and you get a card. Oh. Keep your fingers crossed. I set up a couple of interviews for next week. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's your birthday. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, well, it's not, it's not till Wednesday. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh, well, let me treat you to dinner. Don't say no. You pick the place. Do you like French food? This has been great. You sure? Everything's been okay. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Would you stop? You're making me feel like a princess. Well, here's to you, princess. This is new. I haven't seen this before. Oh, um, a friend of mine from high school gave this to me. We used to play field hockey together. Ah, it's unusual. You know, most men would not notice this. Most men don't pay attention. Miss you. Happy birthday. You are 65, aren't you? I mean, this is just special for senior citizens. Make a wish. I got one. I hope it comes true. Pevet Ozzy Shalak, from moi. It's always good. Isn't that Marty over there? No, it couldn't be. She's drowning in exams. Don't you know your ex-wife when you see her? Mm. I'll be right back. It was really good. It was great. Nice little cocoa. Mm-hmm. This is a weird place to study. Jordan. You lied to me. You said you couldn't have dinner with me and my parents, and here you are with him. Jordan, it's his birthday. We're just... Having a wonderful time? Well, obviously you don't care a thing about me, but I forgive you. Um, happy birthday. Jordan, you're being ridiculous, you know? The truth, Marty, that's all I want. I like people who are honest. You know, this guy here has never filed an income tax return. Does that make you a little suspicious? 
you stop playing detective? I haven't even started. God, get a life. I've had a life with you. Does he really do it for you? Does he really get you off? Jesus, stop it! Let's get out of here, Marty. I can't handle him anymore. Make, I wish he was dead. That's just a cover up. Some people just aren't meant to be together. Yeah. Others are. Yeah. Oh, uh, that tax thing uh, Jordan was talking about, that's simple to explain, really. Uh, uh, it's just a... Hey, taxes? I wish I could get away with that. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry your birthday dinner was such a disaster. No, I really no, am. No, 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 it's great. It's great. Well. Uh... <laughs> I need this. Good, good. I think it'll fit. Thanks. No, not like that. You look like a whiplash victim. No. There. What are we doing living together? What are we doing? Thirsty? Mm. You know, it's a full moon tonight. I bet the emergency room's packed. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Well, well, well. Hey, uh... Hey, what? I wanted to come by and say I was sorry for the, you know, the restaurant. <laughs> you know, I mean, if I'd known Marty was gonna use me like that, I never even would've moved in with her. So, you know, here. What's this? It's, uh... Keys to her apartment. To your guys' apartment, really. <laughs> Last thing I wanted to do was get involved in a domestic war. So, you know, I mean, you guys should just work it out. I'm moving on. I don't even really like this town that much anymore, so... You know, Marty's hysterical. Women. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, thanks for coming by. Uh, what, uh, Jordan? I, uh... You know, Marty's got my security deposit. Well, I mean, she's broke now. She doesn't have it, uh... <laughs> And I was wondering, uh, you know, I need the money. You really landed on your ass this time, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like a jerk. <laughs> well, I got your money. You want one of these? <laughs> uh, who's moving it anyway? <laughs> okay, you're next. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's Marty's favorite move. Oh. You know, everything was great until she went to med school. And then things changed. You ever notice how people are much happier when they have the fewest choices? What? You know, you put someone in a box, and uh, 
everything simpler. The only problem is with the box, you got doors and windows, and the person inside looks out, and they want to leave. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Things become incredibly clear when you drink tequila. Crystal clear. You want a lemon? Mm. Catch. You use those guns for home protection or what? No. I use those to rob stagecoaches. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to see the real thing, hang on. Great accuracy, incredible stopping power. <laughs> hey, ever shoot? Uh, well, you know, I was in military school for a little while. <laughs> Military school. That must have been a nightmare. Yeah, at times. I learned discipline, though. We had these wild drinking games, too. Like what? Uh, what? Well, first you gotta take a shot. <laughs> and then uh, you, you, you take a bullet and you, you load it, uh -huh. close it, spin. Ouch! <laughs> and then uh, you take a shot. Okay. Mm. What do you say we increase the odds? Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> You're out of your head. <laughs> You want to give it a free ride? Here, I'll tell you what, I'll give it to you. Empty. Hey. No! <laughs> Come on, here. Oh, you got all six bullets there in front of you, yeah? All right. Give it a free ride. There's nothing like the cold steel against your head, man. It's a rush. You never feel more alive than when you're closest to death. I doubt it. <laughs> you know, I would never do this for real. <laughs> Pretty real to me. Artie Hiller? Yes. I'm, uh, Detective Torin. Jordan wouldn't kill himself. He just wouldn't. Did he have a history of depression? No. He was upset because I was having dinner with my roommate. God, this is my fault. really sad. I'm sorry. Take care. It's not your fault. Everything's gonna be all right. Alec and I are here for you. Here are the keys to my parents' country place. You can take my car, too. Okay?
See any wildlife? Alec, everything all right? Yeah, I miss you. Usually people say I miss you too. Listen, when I get back, we should talk. I think things went a little far for us. Let's not talk about this on the phone, okay? Yeah. Phones definitely distort things. Complicated. I don't think that this is a good idea anymore. I think that you need to find somewhere else to live. And leave you alone? Marty, you weren't happy alone. You were on autopilot before I came along. And then things got good. Things got fantastic. We belong together. We're a much better match than you and Jordan. Those are Phil's shoes. Yeah, well, I took care of him, too. So that we could be together. No one will be in our way now. You killed Jordan? Well, no. Technically, no. I, he pulled the trigger, but, I mean, what's the difference? It's just you and me now. What? Uh, here. You want to call the police? Go ahead. What are you going to tell them? I mean, I mean, I can just make his suicide look like a murder, and you're the prime suspect. You're crazy. Am I? Oh. Detective Torin, here's that uh, credit card receipt I found for bullets. See, there's your name, Marty Yeller. I know it's sad, but her ex-husband was harassing her quite a bit, probably. Just made her flip. And that whole restaurant saw her smack him like that. She even told the maitre d' that she wished he was dead. Oh, what a scene. It was so embarrassing. Then we went home and had sex. I woke up in the middle of the night, and she's not in the bed. I mean, where's Marty? Where's Marty? The poor guy's brains are splattered all over the place, thanks to his ex-wife. You're insane. Mental health is a relative thing. <laughs> Marty, you've never really felt love, have you? Well, I love you. Do you feel it? This will raise a few eyebrows. It's your scarf with Jordan's blood on it. The things that we have to do for love. No! Marty.
Let's see you up and around. How are you feeling? That was a bad fall. Get out of my way. You let me out of here. Marty, Marty, things are going to be a little topsy-turvy for a while. Let's sit down. Let's go over the rules. Okay? I'll happily wash your dishes. My food is your food. You got any favorites? You just ask. When you need to go to the bathroom, just, just tell me. That's no problem. And uh, showers and baths. Hey! Marty! Diana! Diana! Hey. What was that? I thought I heard Marty. Oh, it's just the stereo. I got a new CD. What'd you do to this place? Alec, it looks great. Marty doesn't like it. Is she home? No. What was that? Diana, this really wasn't a good time. Sorry about Diana. Here you go. This is an instant, Marty. Oh, uh, I was reading your copy of Grey's Anatomy. I think you have a dislocated shoulder. What do you think? You're the doctor. Almost. I know this all seems pretty drastic, uh, but your options are a lot clearer in here, aren't they? It's just you and me. Nothing else. What do you want from me? Sweetie, I have what I want. You. You can't keep me locked up forever, Alec. Someone will come. Well, no, I don't think so. I mean, you were always complaining how you didn't have any friends except Diana. And, well, she's gone now. Don't worry about little Michelle either. Listen, I gotta I got go. I gotta go pick up some painkillers so we can put your shoulder back. Be ready. I think it's gonna hurt. Ah! No! Oh, God, are you gonna take me to the hospital? I cannot do this! Marty, people get sick and die in hospitals. Come on, we can do this. No, together. please, can Alex! Do this I read the book. It's not that hard. You just gotta tell me what to do. Put this one under my, on okay, my body, okay, on okay, my okay, body. Okay. Now you're gonna have to pull hard. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Ow! Oh, pull harder! Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> You see, you do need me. You do need me.
Sorry about the decor. I know it's a little sparse. But uh, things are going to be a little bleak for a while. At least you can't hurt yourself. If you need anything, I'll be right outside the door. Someone from school called uh, about some overdue library books. I'll take care of it. When's the last time you read a good book, anyway? That Grey's Anatomy is pretty dry stuff. Here, I brought you Alice in Wonderland. It's one of my favorites. Please eat something. You go to hell. Marty, if I went to hell, who'd take care of you? It's important to be with someone. It makes it all worthwhile. Catherine didn't understand. Had to keep her in the bedroom. Alec, I'm not Catherine. I know you're not Catherine! I know that, God! What do you, what do you think? <laughs> Look, Marty, uh, I'm not some eager beaver waiter, you know. If you're hungry, you just, you just let me know. Let me know. Playing outside? I don't want you bothering Mr. Beeson. I don't bother anyone. Did your mom know that you snuck in here? You know, it's a bad thing sneaking into people's homes. It's against the law. Did you know that? Are you gonna tell my mom? No, no, I'm not. You know why? Because if I told your mom, she'd leave you all alone. She'd get really mad, and you'd be all by yourself. And it hurts when you're by yourself. It's just you, and you, and you. And it really hurts when you're just in there by yourself. Finish your juice.
So I uh, closed out your checking accounts and um, I paid off your credit cards. You know, you're paying 19% each on those things. Such a ripoff. Alec, could I have a pen and some paper? For what? What do you want to write about? My thoughts. Or I, I could draw. I've never seen you draw before. And anything you're thinking, just share it with me. That's what I'm here for. Are you done? I'm coming in. All finished? Yes. Can I have my makeup? Makeup? I'd like to put some on. You are feeling better, aren't you? So lunch in a half hour, okay? You enjoying the book? Oh, like you said, it's a different world. Yeah, it is. Never quit, do you? <laughs> Marty feeling better? Oh yeah, a lot better. She went out to the seminar on the West Coast. <sighs> yeah, it's possible she could be there for quite a while. Get up! See my glasses? Can't see. No! No! Oh my God! It's just an old grocery list. Marty? Marty? So what, is the silent treatment now? Well, let's get something straight. We're not gonna have any more interruptions like that. I'll just, uh, just tell people you're out of town for a little while, because we obviously need more time to work things out.
Trust me. In time, you'll understand what real devotion is all about. Keys to the kingdom. want to hurt me like that. How am I ever going to trust you? What are you doing? Just brought you a fresh towel. Need anything else? No. Alec, wait. Will you do me a favor? Anything. Wash my back. Hair's all tangled. I'm so glad we're doing this. It was much too long. Trust me. See who that is. Yeah, I'll be right back. COD for Marty Hiller. You can take these back. I dropped out of med school. It's too much pressure. No problem. Hey. So do you have plans tonight? Kidding. I have a surprise. Will you wear this? It fits you perfectly. Why, thank you. Here. You sit here. Uh, I know it's not very elegant, but at least it's not dangerous. Very nice, but would you like me to get the linen napkins for you? 
That would be great. Yeah, Lennon. <sighs> Hope you're hungry. It's almost done. Yes, I'm very hungry. Is it, is it fish? It smells like fish. Let's try. You've really outdone yourself, Alec. This looks great. You look great. Like Catherine? Yes. Beautiful. Did I forget something? More lemon. Lemon. I already had some sliced. I was thinking ahead. <sighs> okay. Uh... Make a wish. Blow out the candle. What should I wish for? Anything you want. You know, cake is really not complete without ice cream. Ice cream. Let's see, I have uh, vanilla and uh, Swiss almond chocolate. Um, Swiss almond chocolate. There really isn't a better time. Let's put it on, okay? It's a perfect fit. I knew it would be. Could we get rid of that thing on your wrist, please? forever.
Teresa, it's Marty. I need your help. so well. I was taking care of her with all my heart, and now she's crazy, you know. She killed her ex-husband. She's out there all alone. I, I gotta go help her. I'm gonna go. Please. Oh. Yes, I'm uh, calling about my brother, um, Alec Dams. He was admitted for food poisoning. Yeah, I'll hold. He makes people believe him. That's what he does. So if he's if he's dead or if he's alive, he's got me. Marty, you're safe. He can't get to you here. He doesn't even know me. Yes? Thank you. He's alive. Domestic dispute. We didn't need your help. Go to the police. He'll tell them that I killed Jordan. He's got all this evidence. Marty, you can't keep hiding from this guy forever. Look, I think there's something we can do. Yeah. Uh, Boston, I need the listing for Lavez. L-E-V-E-Z, first name Teresa. I need the address, too. My name is Marty Hiller. I was held prisoner in my apartment for five weeks by a man named Alec Dans. He brutally murdered my ex-husband, Jordan, my best friend, Diana, and Phil, the man who was to have moved in with me. He's going to try and make you believe that, that I killed Jordan. Uh, I, I didn't. 
my only crime was to have trusted him. He, uh, he cut me off from everyone and everything I've ever known. He made me rely on him for every morsel of food, every drop of water, every bath, every trip to the toilet was his gift to me. I want to go outside. You okay? I want to go outside. All right, why don't we go up to the terrace? My only crime was to have trusted him. Well, we got it all down on tape. I'll take it to the police in the morning. Marty, come on inside with me. You're going to freeze. I don't want to be inside, Teresa. Let me get your hat, at least. Be back in a minute. <laughs> Teresa Leves? Yes? I'm Detective Torn. Uh, sorry to bother you so late. Do you know a woman named Marty Hiller? Uh, yes, I do. Is there a problem? Uh, listen, we just want to talk to her. You're her friend. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't know where she is. Teresa, it's so beautiful out here. Guess it is. Where's Teresa? Marty, you're always worried about everyone else. When are you going to give us a chance? Marty, it's just you and me now. I love you. <laughs> 